Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jill and I do a lot of beauty and fashion content. Hopefully most of it relatable. Today we're gonna jump right into the best summer trends or I guess my favorite summer trends. So I am actually quite pregnant. I'm 34 weeks pregnant right now. And so I had to work pretty hard at finding trends that like worked for me now that would also work for me later postpartum and um, that will work for other people none of these clothes are maternity clothes they're all just clothes that work with a bump okay before we get started make sure you're following me on instagram at the august diaries subscribe to my channel and let's do it oh it's so hard putting shoes on now my bump is just totally in the way oh god I'm just gonna put a bench here so I can switch shoes. <laughs> Hello. Oh God, it's hot too. Let's talk about the first two summer trends. Now that I'm dressed and have shoes on, which took forever. So the first one is the little white dress, which is basically a staple all summer and every summer for me. It can be any style. This one is obviously quite like boho off the shoulder. This one can be worn on the shoulder too. You want something that's really comfortable that you can wear with pretty much everything. Sneakers to sandals to heels. This one's also really nice because you can have a bump or not basically. The tiers make it really easy to wear. I actually have another little white dress that I will insert that I love. It's a little bit shorter and it's also quite boho-y, which is apparently the vibe that I go for a lot. Trend number two is gold. Sorry, my camera just stopped. My card was full. <laughs> just like my bladder is really full <laughs> right now. Too much information. Anyways, I am wearing these gold gladiator sandals from Geox. These are maybe my favorite sandals this summer. I like them because I kind of consider gold to be a little bit of a neutral. So you can basically wear them with anything, whatever color you want, and they're flat, so they're really, really comfortable, which is nice being so pregnant. I've worn these and talked about them in a previous video all about like spring, summer outfits. I'm already sweating so much, oh my God. <sighs> So the next trend is kind of like two in one actually. It is the strapless dress or strapless top. And then also side cutouts. I wasn't sure about wearing side cutouts pregnant, but I think I like it. I think it looks cute. I really like that this is just a simple black dress and then you've got the two trends in one. So it's kind of not overdone but you still get a little bit of skin and it's just a very simple, pretty silhouette. Because of the whole 90s resurgence, the kind of tube top or strapless top is definitely back and it's really easy to wear. It's really nice in the summer. It is just so flattering for your decolletage. And then I paired it with these very cute kind of Parisian wedges. I don't know why this outfit just is very French to me. I'll have to ask my brother-in-law's girlfriend if this is a French outfit. It feels very French and kind of like effortless, a little bit trendy, but cool. Okay, this is the outfit for our next few trends. I will start with the dress. So the kind of retro floral, very vintage looking print is definitely back if there were two decades i would say to pull from this summer it would be the 70s and the 90s these sunglasses are also super 70s as well you know i love a good vintage floral print i guess it would be vintage inspired more like and then this one actually also combines the puff sleeve trend which is not necessarily a favorite of mine but it's something that you'll see throughout like with the first white dress and then with this one as well. Then I also have a black dress that has a puff sleeve too. Maybe I do like the puff sleeve trend after all. This one is super cute. Again, not maternity. 
It is by a Danish brand, I believe. Got little pockets here. I'm kind of obsessing over this dress the more I look at it in the mirror, actually. And then I paired it with another huge trend, which is the platform sandal. So these ones are actually incredibly comfortable. They have a platform below your the balls of your feet and the straps aren't too thin, so they kind of like hold everything in. I love this color because it's almost like a nudie beige color, so it'll work with pretty much anything. And I especially like it with this dress because it kind of picks up on the tones together. I just love a good 70s platform heel. I think they're so disco and like Studio 54 and so cool. And they're definitely a favorite trend of mine. Once I pop this baby out and I'm able to go out with my girlfriends, I'm definitely gonna be wearing these because it gives you a little bit of height, but they're really, really comfortable. You'll basically find this with all of Geox's shoes. They are a contemporary Italian brand and they really make comfort while also being fashionable a top priority. They're not really like your mom slash grandma's shoes anymore, you know? Oops, <laughs> I popped a button. <laughs> Okay, so I should have gotten a larger size in this dress. I think I'm gonna have to exchange it. <laughs> We're gonna talk about the flat form sandal, not the platform sandal, the flat form sandal. So as you will have seen all throughout the winter, the kind of like flat chunky boot was a really large trend. I actually wore a pair of those from Geox like all winter, they were so comfortable. Anyways, the chunky sole just kind of gives you a little bit of edge. It's kind of a more comfortable way to add height as well, because you're still getting probably like an inch and a half to two inches of height, but you don't have to deal with the heel. So as we're moving to summer, now we're gonna talk about the flat form sandal. You will have seen a lot of the high fashion houses come out with kind of the dad sandal that like looks a little bit like a Tiva sandal, which was something that I was always like, oh, I'm not sure if I can wear that. Now that it's started to trickle down, there are kind of more sleek versions as opposed to the like very Tiva-ish style, if that makes any sense. I actually had these on in gold in a previous video and those are really good neutral, but these black ones are a little bit more fashion forward. The soles are so comfortable. They have arch support, which is really nice on a flat shoe. And they also have a Velcro strap, which is really nice to get on and off, especially for a future mom. You know, whether it's like a slip on or something more like this, the flat form sandal is definitely here to stay. Definitely here for the summer. I'm gonna meet you down and done. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess we're going like a little bit 80s here with the biker shorts and the more structured shoulder. I'm just gonna say that the biker shorts trend is still huge. They've been something that I've been wearing all throughout the pandemic and my pregnancy. They're really, really comfortable. And I've also kind of started wearing them under like shorter dresses or tops. So that's kind of what I've got going on here. I can't really see the biker shorts going away for a little while. You know, people have been dressing comfortably for so long that they're not gonna wanna give that up. So here I've just paired it with this really cute structured shoulder, I guess, vest. You can do it up like this. It'll barely do up over my bump. I feel like it's a really cool look. It's almost like wearing a blazer dress and then again just wearing it with the platforms to give myself a little bit of height make my legs look really long like i said i wore them with a few dresses that are quite short that's almost like a dress slash long shirt if you're kind of in the middle there and that's it let me know what is your favorite summer trend from my list of my favorite summer trends thank you guys for Making it this far in the video, thank you guys for following along. Okay, I really need to like go sit down for a second, I think. <laughs> it's a lot of work taking clothes on and off and taking your shoes on and off, especially when my belly is this large. Okay, bye.